give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasim, Ha, Raka, Kudar, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, spreading the good news of the gospel, teaching this truth throughout the world, uh, throughout the world, and who rule well, and the uh, salutations to the hopeful elect, which is the word, to the four corners of the earth, and all sincerity and risky for life to do so. Um, we are the 100% Hebrew Israelite, and, uh, uh, we're going to start out on this uh, video about uh, the blind leading the blind. Uh, I'll start off right now. Uh, if, uh, if somebody wants to get uh, Luke, uh, I'll start off the first one, but uh, somebody can get after that one. Luke 6, verse 39. Uh, Matthews chapter 15, verse 2. But let me grab the first one for you. Cause, uh, okay. That's going to be Matthew. Chapter 15, verse 14. Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. It's yeah. uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. It says, Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Um, what do we have today with these other camps, you know, uh, IUICK or whatever, all these other ones, I don't know, right off uh, in their uh, particular name, but but they're they're uh, taking their uh, 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 people in their assembly and having uh, getting the the C uh you know, or not the C hip, but the each of the false names, yeah, the jab mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, leading them to disaster. Right. Let me uh, get that uh, Luke 6 and what was it? Uh, that was 6 Luke and 39, 6. I got it. All right. Okay. Luke 6 and 39, and he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? They shall not, shall, shall they not both fall into a ditch? Nope. And, uh, you know, the disciples, and as hopeful, we, we go out there spreading the good news of the gospel. You know, we have that clear vision. You know, we have that understanding because we learn from our elder, uh, elder uh, apostles, you know. And uh, so we're going to seek to lead our our people, uh, the hopeful elect that come, because uh, this is for the hopeful elect, uh, to that uh, end result, you know. Uh, for spiritual guidance. Um, I got also uh, Matthew 15, verse 2. And let me let me grab this one real quick. This is uh, just to back up that point you made because the Lord has set up, man, somebody get Jeremiah 3 and 15 too. The, the Most High set up true leaders to lead the, the flock, the remnant of the flock, in the proper understanding of this doctrine. And you got a lot of camps who are not doing that. They're doing this for vainglory, for filthy lucre. And you have a lot of uh, uh, people following that because they're enticed with gimmicks. They're enticed with the, the look of these, these other camps outside the Great Millstone because it's appealing to the flesh. But the main thing you're supposed to be taking heed to is the doctrine, man. That's the only thing that matters. The 100% truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And you're only going to get that from the man of the Great Millstone point blank period. So this is uh, Revelation chapter uh, 14 and 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and went to him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers talking with their hearts. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man can learn that song. Did you want Jeremiah? He said, "What was up?" Khan, he called for that. He did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is back in Revelation fourteen. Silent. We can't hear you. I can hear him. That might be on your end, bro. This is back, so I back can hear him. So back in Revelation yeah. 14 and 3, it says, in this, And they sung, as it were, a new song 
before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which are with, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high unto the Lamb. Verse 5, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne and before the most high. And that's what it's all about. Being without fault before the most high by speaking his words, man. You see, not adding to, not taking away, but giving the true and proper understanding according to what the Most High is ordained to be, according to the Most High's will, man. If you're saying anything other than what Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai said, he's going to do, that makes you a false prophet. And a lot of our people are following these false prophets. And like it says, it's the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into a ditch. And that's what's about to happen, man. Right. Because they're going to be led into taking that device just like they were led into taking that uh, juice. Yep. You know? So the only ones who are going to teach the proper doctrine, man, are the followers of Yahweh Shah, beginning with the prophets. That's it. You can say all you want to. Ain't nobody got 100% truth. That's a fucking lie because Yahweh Shah told us everything that was made known to un everything that was made known unto him from the Father, he made it known unto us. And what is that, man? 100% truth. You see? That's what it is. Uh, I got a verse talk real quick because you said that it says in 2nd Ezra 8 and verse 62 I'll start at 61 and therefore is my judgment now at hand these things have I not showed unto all men but unto thee and a few like thee then answered I and said which she's talking to Ezra but you know it goes for all the hopeful like you know a few men God, uh, and brother, got any precepts? Yeah, I got one real quick. Oh, and I got a quick one. Right. Go ahead, I'll, keep going. I'll go after you. All right, this is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 14, and verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord Yahweh, watch me, I was shy, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. So, yeah, man, you know, you got these false prophets out here spreading false doctrine, telling the congregation to take the jab and whatnot. You know, the Lord said that he deceived those men. He gave them over to that spirit. And then he's going to destroy their ass, too. Because so, once once again, man, it's all about getting it right. And that's what the apostles were going into at their live camp Saturday, man. You have to have it right. You see, because any misstep can lead to death. If you are here telling people it don't matter what you call the Most High, that's a misstep. You you telling people that you can believe in whatever doubt you want to believe in, that's a misstep, which is going to lead to death. You're telling people that you can go and get this seat, this this uh RFID CHIP, which is the MOTB, that's a misstep, and it doesn't add up to what the Most High said, man. You see, it's going to lead to a lot of your congregation being put to death. And guess what? That blood is going to be upon your hand, and you're going to have to answer for that, man. Okay. Yeah. This is uh I'm gonna bring out this quick one of uh Proverbs twenty two and three. It says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And, and that word prudent it goes into considering the future. So these, these future prophecies, like the RFID C hip, you know, this is something that we are considering. And, you know, the, the simple, they're going to walk right into that because their congregation telling them that, you know, that's not the, 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 the micro C hip is not the mark, is not the MOTB. So therefore, you know, they're going to walk right into that because they're not, they're not considering the future prophecies. You know, they don't understand the future prophecies. <clears throat> I got one more step. Uh, Revelation 3, verse 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white remnant 
that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness does not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see, which is this truth, you know. And it's a gift to actually be able to see. And what do you say? Yeah, I wish I said, blessed is your ears and your eyes for they can see and they can hear. Go ahead, you call what you need. Yeah, we got uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 2. I'll read that one. It oh. says, what do thy disciples transgress? Right. What did you say, brother? No, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Go ahead. Oh, why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders, where they wash not their hands when they eat bread? And uh, that goes on to uh, them, the Pharisees, the uh, uh the Which they were adding. Yeah. They were adding man's tradition to the law. And that's what they're doing now. You know, in these other camps, they're, they're adding man's tradition to the Lord's law or taking away to keep man's tradition. You know, and that's what it is, either for money, for uh, whatever, you know. But that's what they're doing. They're, they're adding and taking away. And the Lord said what would happen to them. They, uh, she, uh, they were attacking, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai, uh, the scribes, the Pharisees, mm -hmm. because they were, they were honoring their tradition, right? They were honoring themselves instead of honoring our power, the actual command. They're, right. Mm -hmm. Because if you obey his order, then that's how you honor your commander. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why you didn't enforce them. If you ever watched it, that's the spiritual part where he's in the boot camp and he freaking is putting that gun back together fast as fuck. And the drill sergeant, the Jake, and he comes up and says, you know, God damn, what the hell did you do it so fast? He said, because you told me to, drill sergeant. And the drill sergeant said, what? God, uh, what did he say? God damn, Trump, a gun? He'll be a general. Because it's all about taking orders, following the commands that are given. You know, let everything be decent, be done decently and in order. First Corinthians, uh, four. Let me get that. What is it? First Corinthians, fourteen and forty. Let all things be done decently and in order. So I can go ahead. Yeah, if I can get somebody uh, to get uh, Matthew fifteen three through nine, and yeah. the other one would be uh, Matthew fifteen. 10 through 14. One person, grab it. Okay. If somebody else uh, wants to grab that one. I'll grab Matthew 15. Three. I'm not going to tell you So I'm just going to get this one right away. This is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power doeth nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. And at the end of the day, guess what? Uh, you got, as the brother was going in, you got false prophets, but you got the actual prophets sent by Yahweh Bashem Yahshai giving that true warning, all right, of what's to come. See, and they're not doing it to get money and bread and women and luxuries. They're doing it to obtain, Lord willing, to wait on the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to obtain salvation, not for any other reason. See, in these false prophets, they're doing everything, what? To fill up their pockets, to fill up their bellies, you know? To fill up their uh, storehouses and shit like that. But going on, I got that Matthew 15. And if I could start at verse 8, Baba Kasha, oh, and then... Let me, let me grab this real quick. Got, this Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I, would give, and I would give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So whether you believe it or not, the most I has man down here on this earth that's going to give you the proper doctrine to guide you in the proper way. You see, he's not just going to put some some fucking uh, ragtag bunch of uh, false prophets down here just to be preaching anything they want to preach. You see, that's what people believe. They're there to, oh, I believe GM has got 90%, but they ain't got the whole truth. What the fuck is that? How the fuck does that work? The most I is not the author of confusion, man. If he told you he was going to give you men to teach you according to his heart, to give you the proper wisdom, not to understand it. That's what's going to be done. You see, it ain't, it ain't no, this camp got part of it, this camp got a part of it. No, man. The most I set up men and giving them the 100% understanding of his will, and they are here breaking it down for you. 
You see, because that's the only way you can receive salvation is by uh, accepting the one hundred percent true doctrine. That includes the names, you see, the proper understanding of all the prophecies, you see, understanding what the MOTB is. That's what it's all about. Believing anything other than that, you're believing in the lie. Preaching anything other than that, you're preaching lies, man. You see, and that goes back to you basically saying the most eyes of life. You see, you're adding to and you're taking away. So you're going to be punished for that, man. All uh, right. Uh, I got to step off with what you said. Second uh, John 1, verse 9, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Hamashiach had not power. <laughs> he that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he had both the Father and the Son. Uh, I got one to back you up, Ox. Line back. There you go. This is uh, Psalm 25 and 14. It says the secret of, and then also Anah, he brought out that Amos 3 and 7, you know, um, secrets being revealed to his servants, the prophets. Psalm 25 and 14, it says, the secret of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. You see, so. You know the, the men who are out there uh, using using the false names, wrong names. You know these camps that don't use the true names. You know they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know because that goes into reverence using the using the true names. You know which reverence means respect. So they're not putting no respect on on the, the father or the son's name. See, so um, let me read that one more time. The secret of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is with them that fear Him, and He will show them. His covenant. That's all I got. Man, oh, let me grab this real quick, and then uh, and now you go ahead and grab what uh, the brother called. Uh, it is what is it? It's like he slipped me. Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, what verse did the brother want? Verse ten. Three. Uh, Matthew chapter fifteen, uh, verses three through nine. Three to nine, God. All right. So this is uh, Matthew 15, verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of the Most High Power by your tradition? For the Most High Power commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that cursed father and mother, let him die the dead. But ye, but ye say, Whatsoever shall, whatsoever okay. shall say, to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever thou mayest be profited by me. And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made this commandment of power a none effect by your tradition. Says ye be hip hip hypocrites, why ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah's prophesied of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me, me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandment of man. And that's what they're doing when, they, when they're telling you the name of the Most High don't matter. That's the commandment of men. Because it tells you that they by calling on the name of the Lord is how you're going to be saved, man. That's what the scriptures say. It's not supposed to be the doctrine according to Nate or the doctrine according to Bishop Yohanna or the doctrine according to uh, uh, Alazar. It's supposed to be the doctrine according to what the Most High has spoken, man. You see? So you have to have the name. That's that's key. You see? Yep. The name of man, you can call him whatever you want to. That's, that's the doctrine of men. You, you find that nowhere in the scriptures, man. You see that? Uh, in fact, yeah, I was trying to say I gave them your name, remember? I and kept them in, the, in thy name. All that. Uh, so Let me just read uh, verse 10, Baba Kasha. It's, uh, it, it's important, too. You know, it's uh, this is verse 10. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand. 
you know, so it's very important to understand the prophecies. It's very important to understand the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahshad. It's very important to understand who are the 12 tribes. It's very important to understand that great multitude, you know, because all that is prophecy. All that brings great understanding, you know, and without it, without that understanding, you cause confusion. Same with the MOTV. Yeah, I don't understand what that is. Because if not knowing and understanding, you cause great confusion. Most of not the other confusion. You know what I'm saying? It's clear and straight to the point, man. You have to have everything the most I told us to, to believe in. You can't have a portion of it or a part of it. You have to have it all. Uh, if you could read on to 14, uh, could you bring on? It says, uh, verse 11, not that which goeth in the mouth defile the man, but that which com cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Going into what? The doctrine you preaching, man. IUIC is defiled. ISUPK is defiled. They say John the Baptist ain't even in the truth no more. You see? <laughs> fucking uh, Sakari, they defiled. They talking about fucking Russia's going to rise up while we're in the kingdom of heaven to come make war against us. They talking about the letters of Paul are not a authoritative. They talking about you ain't supposed to worship, worship Yahweh Shah. <laughs> HOI is the file because they're telling you that you get way. Uh, they don't say no way that you can't repent for the MOTV. You can get it. You can get it in that last minute. Take it out. That's not what's written, man. These, these, all these caps outside the Great Millstone are the file because what they're they're preaching perverse doctrines, man. You see, they're they're letting filthy communi communication come out of their mouths. Completely defiled, man. Says verse 12. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard the saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. There you go. All right. And that's why when he cursed that tree, that fig tree that had no figs on it, it was uh, symbolizing those Israelites that had no fruit. Like it says, Yahweh Shai is the vine, the men are the branches. If you bear no fruit, the Lord's going to cut you off and pretty much leave you in that lake of fire. See, but, uh, hey, to I make a point on that too, now we're starting to see what we're starting. We're starting to see these, all these counts outside the Great Millstone be confounded by Christians. You see, you know why? Because they're not rooted in the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see, the car getting confounded by Christians talking about the letters of Paul are not authoritative, and the Christians are coming up cutting them on that point, man. You just saw IUIC get cut up by a Christian. You know why? Because they're not rooted in the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And it tells you if if it's if it's not of the most high, it's not gonna stand, man. You see? Right. All these camps inside the Great Millstone are being exposed. Because they, they it's being found out that they're not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, they're false prophets. Khan, you got a point you mean that? Oh, I was just gonna say that back on verse eleven, uh that I and I spoke of uh that hand washing can't make a person clean if his heart is tarnished. So the human heart, which is the mind, can be deceitfully wicked. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. We'll get somebody get Jeremiah 17, 9. Jeremiah 17 and 9. I got it. All right. This is Jeremiah. Oh, seven, huh? Seven? Yeah, read seven. Yeah, seven to nine. No, seventeen. Yeah, I got seventeen. There's more meat on it. Oh, okay. On seven. Okay. Go ahead. Jeremiah seventeen and nine. Yeah, but read that seven to nine. Oh, kind of, kind. This is uh Jeremiah seventeen and seven. It says Jeremiah seventeen. Jeremiah 17 and 5, it says, Thus saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, 
Curse be the man that trusted in man. Look at that. Because that's what's happening with these, these false groups. They're looking to these leaders and they're not looking to the doctrine of the most high. They're just looking at the man you see up there speaking because what? The gimmicks, the charisma, the code of personality. They're not interested in the true doctrine. You see? Right. So a a those congregations are cursed. But like the apostles always say, you don't have the elect members come out from amongst that madness and come and take heed to the true doctrine. It says, and make him arm his flesh, and whose heart departed from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Verse 6, for he shall be like the hearth in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land, and not inhabit it. Verse 7. Right, Verse and it's like uh, that heat, that's a plant that's all by itself in the middle of a desert. You know what I'm saying? Huh. This is uh, verse 7. It says, Blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, and whose hope Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. And that's what it's going to be for all those who believe in the true doctrine of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. While all hell is breaking loose out here, those who have believed in, in, in the 100% true doctrine are going to be stable in their minds, man. You got camps talking about ain't no, ain't no Jacob's trouble coming. Jacob's trouble is gay. You see, ain't no famine coming. We already in the second covenant. All this madness they're preaching. So when it really hits, guess what? Like the brother say, you're going to be like a, a heat in the desert, man. Having no water. Having no substance, having no understanding, so they're not going to be able to be stable when all hell and chaos is breaking loose all, all around them, man. That's why it's so important to do what? Take heed to the true doctrine. That's that's all it's about. You see, it's all about taking heed to what the Most High has said, man. And a lot of these Israelites still fail to realize this as we come to the to the close of this ministry. You know. Uh -huh. They got verse 9 too. It says, yeah, uh, you can read also 10. Uh. I was going to get it. Yeah, I just, I just saw that. Yep, yep. This is, uh, this is, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? And did you have a point on that? Oh, no, that was the point yeah. I had about it. The, point the, the, the whole thing about it is, uh, the, uh, that uh, you can't cure it, you know. And the thing is, with that, that is that's why you need the brotherhood. Iron sharpened iron. You need a brother there to to pretty much check you. Mm. So when you're going off, so that you could correct yourself. Because as it says there, the heart is deceitful above all things. So you might think you're doing right, going in this direction. That oh, I know it's the Lord, but it's not. And if you do, you know, you need a brother to say, hey, that ain't the way. You know, come back this way. Mm -hmm. You know, correction and, like, and review. Mm -hmm. And like King Solomon says, man, you got uh, these these leaders of these different groups trusting in their own understanding. But what what does King Solomon say, man? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not upon thine own understanding. You're supposed to be leaning unto the doctrine of the Most High, man. You see, right. and you're supposed to be cleaving unto those men who will give you that true doctrine. You see. Right. Not looking to these false leaders because they got the shiny garments on or what have you. They marching down the goddamn street in formation, chanting cadence. You see? Right. What, what, what doctrine are they preaching, man? Are they speaking according to what the Most High said is supposed to be? If not, you're supposed to separate from that, man. You see? So I say it's following not a multitude to do evil. But verse 10 says what? Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 10. I, Yahweh, or Hashem Yahweh Shai, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. Yep. And that's why the blind leading the blind, they're both going to fall in the ditch. Yep. You see, it's that simple. It's not difficult to understand, you know. 
But what it is is pride, really pride blinds. So that's why you got to humble yourself to the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which he right. said of men, apostles, elders, bishops, leaders, teachers, ministers. And if you don't submit to that leadership, how could you le learn, you know? Yep. And, it's, and it's just being made manifest that a lot of our people hate Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. That's why they don't want to come into the fullness of the doctrine. They don't want to be held to a, to that to that uh, elect standard, like it tells you, put on as the elect. You see, <laughs> you have to conduct yeah. yourself a proper way, and this is why a lot of people uh, shun Great Millstone. But we don't give a damn. We out here to do the Most High's will, like our brother Yahweh shot before us, man. That's all it's about. You see, we we cool with coming up under the yoke of order and doing what we're supposed to be doing, preaching the proper doctrine, man. You see, because once again. The reins of everybody is being tried, and you're going to be held accountable for uh, dismissing the true doctrine of the Most High. It tells you that in Proverbs 1. It tells you that in Isaiah 65. Right. That he's going to cause the, the wicked of our people. Another one here. What you want? Uh, Romans 2, verse 19. Romans 21. He's going to cause the wicked of our people to bow down to the sword. Okay. He's going to give them over to the sword because they chose that it where says, the Most High delighted not, man. So yeah, verse nineteen and our. No. Let me start at uh, verse seventeen to get the content. It says, "Behold, thou art called a Jew, and re 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 test the in the law, and maketh thy boast of power, and knoweth his will, and approveth the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law." And are confident that thou thyself are a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness. Which, uh, let me get this, that in the NLT. It says, you are convinced that you are a guide for the blind and a light for people who are lost in darkness. Right? So you believe you're a teacher. It says, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law, thou therefore, which teachest another, teachest not thou not thyself, you know? So, you know, you're not examining yourself, you know? Because it goes on with this, it says, thou that preachest, a man should not steal, so thou steal. So you, you don't want to be a hypocrite, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you find in uh, these other camps and, and these Christian churches, hypocrites. And did you have a point? Yeah, another one. Uh, oh, no, you see, you, that was, uh, okay. So, uh, the other one would be Matthew chapter 15, verse 14, uh, which we read that. I believe so. but I was close to it, but I don't know if we went that far. But you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, let me grab this right away, Bob. Shop. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. All right. And then what you got? Uh, when that, on that one, was told, uh, told his disciples, he always tried to ignore the Pharisees, you know, and the religious leaders, though they thought they were expert in power's law, that, you know, but. But they, but they blind are and ignorant of the law. To me, they were con uh, contradicting the very laws they claim to understand. Instead of leading their students along the right path that leads to life, they were guiding themselves and their followers straight to a disaster. Which one? Their followers were Israelites, right? Mm -hmm. And what they were doing, once again, was they were adding and taking away from the law. All right? Just like when they were going to stone that woman that was caught in the act of adultery, the Lord said, whoever is innocent of that law, of breaking that law of adultery, cast the first stone. All those men, they couldn't do it because they were all guilty of adultery. So you, the leaders back then, for the most part, were going off being wicked. Because they were in bed with the Romans, all right, and the Greeks. But you had men that were upright, like John the Baptist. John the Baptist was actually supposed to be like in the position of a high priest. 
but instead he was in the wilderness because he was he was walking that path, that narrow path, while everybody else was in that white gate trying to get paid, you know? Because you got to remember, those men that were Pharisees back then and scribes, they had money. There was money and, and, and uh, power in that seat of Moses. You know what I'm saying? Because Moses was the original, and then uh, King David, you know, under Yahweh Shai, you know? But uh, what, what did you... Uh, so I'm just going to say that they were doing the same thing back then that they're doing today, these other groups, and misleading uh, people, uh, and, you know, in legal legalistic tradition that the Pharisees were good at, and uh, unwritten rules that many churches and spiritual teachers and individuals try to enforce today, you know, throughout uh, throughout the world, you know? So let's go to... Let's go to Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. I think it's about to be that precept. Second Corinthians eleven, verse three. It so, says, "But I fear." Hold on, hold on, bro. These brothers got precepts. But I fear lest by any means, Yo. as the serpent beguiled Eve, his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. Yo, can y'all not hear us over there? Because he, he makes it where you can't receive salvation. Where they say you got to keep the law. Can y'all not hear us? I don't think they could hear us. Oh. We can hear you. We can hear you. Can you, but can you hear us? Salak, yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you the whole time. You couldn't hear us. Can you hear us now? Yeah, I can hear you now. It's because the Bluetooth they kicked off already like three times. Nah, Y'all sound good like that. Y'all can, uh, these bros have precepts they hold. Right. Go ahead. So I'm, I'm going to uh, read out of 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. It says, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, say Yahweh Yahshai, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children from the power, defile not my sanctuary. But yeah, for the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. Therefore, deliver he them unto death and destruction. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For the Most High Power shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. And basically just going on, on the commandment that Yahushua gave us was to feed the sheep and feed the correct doctrine. You know, and right now, we find ourselves with these uh, uh, false prophets that are not feeding the sheep with the correct doctrine. And these false prophets are going to suffer the destruction that, that's going to be poured upon them, man. And, hey, we're, we're entering into that Jacob's trouble, man. You know, we see all this promotion that's going on around the world. Just wait till it hits Babylon, man. It's just like a movie, you know. When you go and they make a movie, they, they do a cast. And that cast, you know, the guy that plays the bad guy, he really don't want to be the bad guy. You know, he wants to be the main character, you know. But the position that the director and producer, they'll put him in, even the writer, you know, he'll have his input. And they'll be like, this guy, hey, man, this guy's perfect for the, the evil one. That's what the Lord did with Esau, you know what I mean? Esau, don't, he really, you know, it's not even his own will or even these two thirds to be the devil but it's the Lord's will that they be the devil to fulfill that part you know what I'm saying yeah so yeah. this is uh a lot, yeah. this is uh first Samuel chapter 15 and verse 23 for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh he hath also rejected thee from being king. And when you rebel against the doctrine, you know what I'm saying? That's like witchcraft, man. You're beguiling those who are listening to you, man. It's like you're casting a spell on those who follow you when you go off from the doctrine, man. That's rebellion, man, against the word of the Lord, man. There's a penalty for that. God. Death, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. It's death because when you rebel, it's uh, witchcraft. You know? 
I got a preset. I got a first got Titus chapter one, and uh, starting at uh, uh, let's see, verse nine is talking about the bishop, We're talking about the leadership. You know, this he says, holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may may be able by sound doctrine, both to exhort and convince the gainsayers. And the gainsayer is, it goes into uh, somebody who challenges or disputes the truth. You know, so you got to do this with sound doctrine. If you're a leader and you're not teaching sound doctrine, like the brother just said, hey, you, you're, you're, you're leading the flock astray. You're leading them to death, to the grave. Uh, verse 10, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. So this is going specifically into the leadership of Israel, because Israel is called the people of the circumcision, right? That's a covenant with between Yahweh, Baal Shai, and, and us. So, uh, you know, it's going really, let me read it one more time. For there are many rule, unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And we know uh, those boys over there at the IUIC, we know that they've, they've uh, you know, taken that bag. So, you know, they're doing this, you know, you know that 501c3 and whatnot. You know, it goes into their, uh, you know, they're more worried about the, the money, uh, you know, Caesar's money than, uh, than the treasure of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Hey, are you on the blue letter? Uh, no, I, I was on the, I can go uh, to it though. I was going to see what that letter, that word stopped is in the blue letter just to see. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, the word stopped, you know, their mouths must be stopped. Because, uh, yeah. you know, the Lord's going to stop them. He's going to put them to death. You know what I'm saying? Con, I got you right here. I'll just stop real quick. Uh, right here. Pulling it up right now. Yeah, you're right. The Lord's going to stop their mouths, man, at the end of the day. Yeah. Let's see. That's what Jacob's trouble's for. Uh, all right. It's uh, G1993. The word is uh, Pito Mizo. I'll, I'll play it real quick. I'll see lucky. I don't think my volume's on this one. But anyway, the, the word Aki means uh, it's Episto Mizo in the Greek. And it goes into to bridle or stop up the mouth, uh, to stop the mouth, reduce to silence. Um, to silence, you know, put you to death, pretty much. You know? uh, and that's, that's how someone stops someone from talking shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is when you're not teaching correctly, you're talking shit. You know? But, uh, let me uh, read that Second Corinthians 11 and 3 in the NLT real quick. Okay. And then we'll grab that one after. Because uh, you called this one out and I didn't get the NLT yet. But it says in uh, Second Corinthians 11, I'm going to read uh, 2, 3, and 4. It says, but I am jealous for you with the jealousy of Yahweh himself. I promised you as a pure bride to one husband, Hamashiach. Which that's what a father would do to a bride. So Apostle Paul's referencing himself as a as like a father to the Israelites. It says, But I fear that somehow your pure and undivided devotion to Hamashiach will be corrupted just as Eve was deceived by the cunning by the cunning ways of the serpent, which that serpent today is that so called Caucasian which he's using deceit, right? And Eve was deceived, all right? And so you don't want to be in a feminine spirit, all right? Feminine actually means uh, lacking faith. It says in verse 4, you happily put up with whatever anyone tells you, even if they preach a different Yahweh Shai than the one we preach or a different kind of spirit than the one you received, or a different kind of gospel than the one you believe. 
See, so we're all one body and we're to have one doctrine. All right. And that body uh, that Yahweh Shai speaks of that's going to be saved. Let me grab that real quick. Jeremiah uh, 15. And I'm sorry, Jeremiah 30. Where it's talking about Jacob's trouble. KJV. Um, and it's verse 7. It says, Allah's. For that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The reason why it says he is talking about the body of Yahweh Shai, which is the uh, uh, hopeful elect, which that word, uh, bought, uh, let me grab it. It says that he shall be saved out of it. It says, to uh to get victory to be victorious to be saved to be delivered and that's what the lord is going to do for his hopeful elect that endure until the end the same shall be saved now what did you want you from uh that was uh matthew chapter 18 verse 6 okay matthew 18 and 6 it says but whoso you brothers you good heirs uh. God. All right, it says Matthew 18 and 6, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Well, so you cause one to sin or stumble, you know, and that includes falling away from faith. You know, you, uh, the Lord's got his num He's got his uh, large millstone ready for you. You know, mm -hmm. which it. it's re referencing the death you're going to suffer is going to be that dreadful, as if you were to have a great millstone on your neck, and you were to go to the bottom of the sea the whole time. You know that dread you would fear. That's what you're going to suffer in that lake of fire, in that death that the Lord's going to give you. Uh, what did you need another? No, that was uh, that was the one. All right, let me grab a Proverbs five. And if brothers, you got precepts, but uh, I'll grab Proverbs five because in Proverbs, uh, King Solomon prophesied of those men that were going to be in that lake of fire. It says, uh, verse. Yep, verse. 11, so he's saying, you know, you know, take reproof, you know, verse 11, and thou mourn at the last, and if you don't take that uh, reproof, that correction, you'll pretty much mourn at the last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed in that lake of fire. It says, and say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof, you know, what, Proverbs 121. You know, I, what is it? Uh, Proverbs 1 and verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye live, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in the scorning and fools hate knowledge? And that's what's happening with these reprobate Israelites. They don't want the knowledge of the Lord, so they're going to be in that lake of fire. It says in Hebrews 5, I'm sorry, Proverbs 5, verse 12, and say, how have I hated instruction and my heart despised reproof and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. And so that's the dread you're going to be feeling while you're in that lake of fire, while you're, you know, feeling all kinds of horror. You're going to be like, why didn't I repent? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brothers. You got a precept. So I was, uh, I've been holding this for a while. This is Romans chapter 16. It says, verse 17, it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, but their own valley. And by good words and fair speeches, 
deceive the hearts of the simple. So kind of just going into how the brother started off this lesson and going into what I had said earlier, you know, these false prophets, basically, you know, they're using this gimmicks as the brothers and elders has told us about them, you know, fair speeches, you know, and for what? To fill up their pockets, to fill up their bellies. That way they can live a luxurious, a luxurious life on this side. Even though we know it's going to be destroyed, they don't give a damn. They, they, they'd rather live that type of luxurious life and deceive the people and not give a damn about their own destruction. You got to be oh, uh, very eye-open with people like that, man. And it, only, it, it just comes down to they don't really believe. Yep. You see? This is why they're, they're saying the things they say because they don't truly believe in the doctrine of the Most High. They don't believe Yahweh Shah is coming back. They don't believe there's no punishment coming. See, all they see is the now. They don't have the uh, the vision of a bigger picture, a bigger future, a bigger, uh, greater glory. You see, all they see is the present, and that's going to cause a lot of these guys to lose, man. And also, those who are following them are going to lose, you know? Yeah, that's the worst type of motherfucker, man. Like, bro, I was just thinking about shit last night. Just in the bed, like, bro, we got a greater glory coming, man. We got we got something better coming. This ain't it. You know I'm saying, no matter how much money you get on the side, bro, you can never be uh, uh, in the fullness of what the Most High wants you to be upon the Esau, man. We got immortality yeah, coming. We got, bro, we got freedom, true freedom. You see, no limits coming. Right. You know, in this, in this world, bro, they say more money, more problems. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the way you mark them nowadays is by what? Actually doing videos that edify and come with the truth, you know, and, and hey, be defenders of the gospel, right? You make those true videos being led by the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, the Rakat Kadash, man, and guess what? Your, your, your hands are washed from their blood and they don't take heed to the true prophets, you know, because we're we're bringing out what we have been taught. We're not remixing the doctrine. Yeah, I got one. It's like, uh, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 24. This is a uh, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. And uh, he says, For there shall arise false anointings and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, yep. insomuch. That if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And the point is that the elect cannot be deceived because they've been predestined for salvation, meaning they've been predestined to follow the 100% truth. You know, but the thing is, there's going to be false prophets. The Lord warned us of these guys, man. They're going to be there. You know what I'm saying? They're out there now. Because what? That's going to save the undesirables, man. Because whether you believe it or not, the Most High is not dealing with the entire nation. The Most High is only dealing with the elect of Israel. Not all Israel is going to get it. Not all Israel is of the Most High. You see, the election have obtained it. The rest was blind. <laughs> and it says they're going to show great signs and wonders, right? That's like IUIC. They got all that money, all the special effects, the 4K cameras and shit. Showing fire the ass and shit. Yeah, man. That's... <laughs> And let, let me get it, Baba Kishan. This is uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 7, and it reads, What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And all that matters is the elect, man. We're going to keep saying it. The Most High is not dealing with the entire nation right now. The Most High is coming to save his remnant. That are going to follow you, how shall with us, whether so ever he goeth. They're going to be calling on the true names, believing on the true doctrine, moving as the elect will move, man. You see? Firmly rooted, unmovable, unshakable, unwavering, and steadfast in the faith of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. That's what it's all about. That's, that's all it's about, man. That's why you got to be by those living rivers, you know? Be in the camp so that you could feed on that living water, you know? I got it. Guys like Bishop Nathaniel, you know, could be considered like a hireling in scripture because you know, a hireling is somebody who doesn't, you know, they, they don't take the, the job serious, right? This is uh, John 10 and 12. It says, But he that is an hireling 
and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. So, so he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, he, he don't give a damn about his congregation, you know? Always worry about himself. But a true brother is going to lay his mic down for his congregation, just like Yahweh Shai. Or even the apostles that rule Great Millstone, hey, they had lives they could have pursued, but instead they chose to stand so simply for the truth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, brother, you got anything else? Oh. You got something? Yeah, two real quick. They kind of go together. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And the true understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep us stable in these times, man. You know, through faith. And if you got the wrong understanding, then you ain't going to be stable. And right here, uh, I have Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, and verse 4. And it says, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. So the undesirables, they're going to be led to these false prophets because they got something that's wrong inside of them. All right? That's why it says wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul. So the wicked believe the, the, the wicked listeners are going to be led to the wicked teachers, man. They cancel each other right. out. And that mm -hmm. malicious uh, malice, it means the intention or desire to do evil. Uh. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, was that it? That was it, bro. All right, All right you got one new point? Yeah, this is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. This is NLT. Uh, Y'all try speaking. It's in red. When, but when the Father sends the advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything, and he will remind you of everything I have told you. Right. To what? Teachers. Mm -hmm. Right, you got prophets that remind you to the scriptures, teachers that teach you through the scriptures. The scriptures were given to the Israelites for correction, inspiration, direction. You know, everything we need is in the scripture because the word of Yahweh is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is our savior and our connection to that power. Uh, I got one more. Uh, Mark 8 and 36. I'm going to read 37 also. It says, for, and it's Yahweh Shai saying this, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You know, which that's what we're talking about, these men that are trying to gain worldly, you know, things like money or fame, but they're going to lose their own soul in the process of it. It says, or, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Which when you're in that fire being tormented, Man, you, you're going to wish you did everything else instead of what you're doing, you know, to get you in that lake of fire. You know what I'm saying? But it's all preordained, you know. It's all preordained. Somebody got to pay play that two-thirds. Hey, we're hoping to be the elect in this movie. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to close out. And with that, we give praise. Honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, 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 double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone spreading the good news of the gospel, teaching the men, the men well and will rule well, and salutations to the hopeful electric who work to the four corners of the earth in all sincerity and risking their life to do so. Awam to the leg, wah, ba, 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 